In one year, 1952, at 9 o'clock on Monday nights, two out of every three households welcomed Lucy, Ricky, Fred, and Ethel into their living rooms. Those that weren't watching were out buying TV sets. Since 1951, a day has not gone by when Lucy hadn't been seen in some American city. I once turned on my blow dryer and got her to go. <laughs> when she left us so suddenly this year, she left behind a long and lovable legacy. Tonight, we thought we'd remember her with a sample of that legacy. But instead of showing you her familiar classic scenes, we found some brilliant but seldom seen moments of Lucy's lunacy. The first one is from the number one Lucy pilot, which she and Desi on a day financed it herself when no one would take a chance on the former showgirl and her Latin leading man. She was, as you're about to see, as funny as you could be without saying a word. couldn't see her face. percent of the profit. Now, what's a million and a half dollars? Cary Grant's name on the picture alone is guaranteed to bring in an extra three, three and a half million at the box office. Oh, look, Evelyn, you'll save yourself a lot of headaches if you'll forget about Cary Grant. <laughs> You know, the big brass around here got themselves caught in a very bad deal. Don't try to bail them out. I know that, but I tell you, Emily, my heart's set on Cary Grant for that picture. They can't afford Cary Grant. Where's the money coming from? <laughs> we just spent a whole hour in the accounting department going over the budget. Where is the money coming from? <laughs> She could be hilarious with only an arm. You're not kidding. She does have it on. Yeah, and I can't get it off. Oh, of course. It's lovely to see you. I'm dying to see the ring. Oh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. 
fabulous. <laughs> Hello, Jim. Hi, right, Jim Bacon, the Los Angeles Star. Yeah, How nice are you? I see. Lovely. Oh, you look sensational, Elizabeth. Thank, Thank you, you love. Do <laughs> <laughs> you forgive me? Shall we forgive her? <laughs> you know, Lucy means light, and that's what she gave us. And she still signs in all our hearts. I know that I'm not alone in saying I love Lucy and I miss her dearly. And to accept the Governor's Award, please welcome Lucille's husband, Gary Morton, right here. Thank you, Robert. On behalf of Lucy, I'd like to express sincere gratitude to the Board of Governors and the Academy for bestowing this prestigious award. Lucy loved her work and loved the television industry. And she would, she would have been deeply touched by this symbol of recognition. She also loved her public and was one of her great joys of a life that they loved her back. She believed in family, love, warmth, and humor, and all the values that her work continues to affirm for her television viewers in 80 countries throughout the world. Our marriage was blessed with laughter, which is a priceless bond for any couple. I was lucky to share so much laughter and happiness with her. Ladies and gentlemen, you made the Lucy I love very happy. Thank you very much. First annual Emmy Awards is brought to you.